we're obviously very lucky to be sailors competing in a sport doing something we love but it, it's also very meaningful to make a, a re real contribution. On 11th hour racing we carry the ocean pack which is monitoring sea surface temperature, salinity, CO2 content and all this can then get verified and, and put back into to, to data models and contribute to climate monitoring. It's uh, something very tangible that we can contribute. We sail in some of the very remote oceans in the world. We're going to be deploying two drifter boys from Militia Sea Explorer. Uh, now these boys, they drift uh, along the surface, uh, a bit different to the Argo float, which will sink down up to 2,000 meters. These will stay on the surface and they'll measure very similar things, the temperature, salinity, and also the ocean currents, um, but only at the surface of the ocean. It's extremely valuable and, and useful to scientists that uh, in the ocean race, we can deploy these boys as we do these races. So today is a, a special day for us on Biotherm as well. We're going to deploy our second weather boy. Um, and these boys are really important for climate science. This is where we feel really useful on board Biotherm and, and the ocean race in general, because we are in an area where there's pretty much nobody. There's not even any cargo ships. Geo and Wholesome are collecting microplastic samples from the water. Those samples are sent to us at the end of every leg, and I am analyzing how many microplastics are in each sample and then what types of plastics we're finding. Microplastics pose a large threat to ocean ecosystems, both the uh, biota that live in the ecosystems, but also to human health. We eat the fish and the oysters and everything from the ocean, and so all these microplastics are available for organisms to ingest, which could then impact our health as well. We're able to collect a huge number of samples to get a snapshot of the global amount of microplastics in the ocean for 2023. So knowing about the plastic distribution in the ocean, uh, the quantities of those plastics, what specifically what they are chemically, polymer-wise, will help us to understand the potential threats of those plastic contaminants and how we can battle them in the future. It will also help us to develop solutions and strategies for managing plastic waste that we're currently generating. So I've got to change the filters in here with the new one. I have to make sure the stop over as quick as possible so it does not contaminate. The data we get from our science box and from measuring the microplastics which is very useful data for us to get for the scientists because again not many people are down there not many people get to the measure the water and you know if we see a high level of microplastics that far away from man the furthest way you can be on the planet then we kind of can see how much damage we're doing it can then be used by scientists and go straight into helping to derive policies and to really push for policy change at a top level so I think it's vital information and it's fantastic that they've managed to develop something that can be on our boats that uh, can withstand our boats. This global data set will allow us to better understand the state of ocean plastic pollution so we can work together towards solutions.